So the final assembly of the boat. We're going to start with putting a little bit of electrical tape over the holes that are in the casing of the motor. This helps keep water out of the motor if it's getting splashed up and makes it last a little longer. I'm going to use some hot glue to glue the motor to the very top corner of the bracket that we made out of the aluminum, but you'll find I'll have to tape that a little bit later. The glue doesn't stick very well to it. Now we're going to attach the motor dowel coupling to the shaft of the motor. I'm using the small Allen wrench to loosen those set screws so that I can push it all the way on. You'll feel it kind of snap into place. Now we'll use the Allen wrench to tighten those set screws and they need to be as tight as possible to get it to really hold on to that shaft. You'll hear it clicking as I'm tightening it right there. You'll, you'll start to hear some clicking and as it's clicking that means you're, you're tight and, and you need to let it click a few more times. Um, it's a little hard but you really got to crank on that. Here I am showing a close-up of attaching the uh, dowel into the other side. If you turn the Allen wrench and use the long side, hold the long side of your fingertips, you'll get a little more leverage and you can tighten those set screws even better. Once done, you can turn it around and you can see that they're tight and you won't actually see them sticking out. And here I'm, I'm just showing it tightening it once again, but I can give a little bit of a tug on the shaft and you'll see that it's tight enough. Okay, so that's working pretty well. My motor's already broken off of the, the bracket, so I'm going to use some electrical tape and just tape around the motor and over the top of the bracket, the very top part of it. See, I'm going right through the middle, taping it on. That'll hold it really securely. Now if we test it, You'll feel wind coming from the propeller towards you, not back towards your hand. Okay. Now we're going to test fit that bracket, and you'll see that the propeller sticks out below the bottom of the boat, which is a very good thing. And now when we take that out, we're going to glue that bracket into place. Now, knowing that that glue doesn't exactly stick very well to the aluminum bracket, that's okay because of the sides that we glued on in the styrofoam earlier. Those actually hold that in place really well, especially combined with a little bit of glue that's on the bracket. And I put quite a bit in that, that slot to hold the bracket in place, so that's going to hold pretty well. The hard part is waiting for it to dry. Alright, so placement of the battery. What I'm going to do is uh, set the battery in the middle. I'm going to place just a little bit of hot glue on there, and you can always break that off and replace the battery a little later. Uh, try to get it into the center of the boat. You want the weight of that battery centered. Now here I'm gluing the switch onto the back edge of the front pieces of foam that I put on there. You'll see that I'll change that later because that's not really a very strong place to put it. When you push on the switch it breaks off easily. A few tests and you can see that things are working well. Okay, here I'm going to carve a little bit of slot out of that front, a kind of a slot to fit the switch in. And that works pretty well. So we add a little bit of hot glue right around the edge of that switch and that holds it in place really well. That's much better. Now we can push on that switch pretty hard without any problem. So our first test run, the maiden voyage, it takes off really, really well here. We could work on putting some sort of rudder or ridges on the bottom to try and make it go straighter. There's a lot of room for you to iterate. Hey, thanks for watching and never stop tinkering.